Are you ready to go milk? Mm-hmm. I want to jump. You want me to jump you? Yes. Okay. Jump. You didn't get it. Oh. Jump. And, oh, hold on. This is kind of hard to do. Here, let me show you how to do it. You go like this. Okay, so put your fingers in here. Keep it behind you. Okay, like that. And then you pull the whole thing over your head. Pull it over your head. <laughs> Try again. And jump. There you go. That was close. Try one more time. And jump. Okay. Hi, Dad. Now, come here. Stand right there. <laughs> no, other side. Turn around. No, no, other side. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay, ready? I'm going to swing it over the top and you're going to jump. Ready? One, two, three. No, oh, no. You got to wait till you see the rope. Huh? Jump! Oh, you did it! Huh? Jump! Back up. This way. Back up this way. And jump. Yes! We created jump rope. <laughs> Can you play with me when we get down there? What? Play with Mabel. Oh, That's what we're doing. Well, first we're gonna go introduce our cat. Hello, puppy. Good morning guys, so we had a calf. <laughs> it was so awesome. It was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Were we, were we stressing it? <laughs> I was stressing it. <laughs> I was nervous, yeah. I felt like I was gonna have a baby. Yeah, you, were getting, you had some, did you have any birth pains? No. <laughs> so it was about 10 at night, um, we were out, I was filling Maggie's water and... Ben went out, he's like, I'm gonna go just check on Maggie. Yeah. And I'm usually very busy at that hour and doing stuff in the house. But we had gotten the kids to bed and everything was good. And it was quiet and Ben's like, I'm gonna go check on Maggie. And I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, I wanna check on Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> and so I come down and Ben's filling up the water. Yeah, and I'm just like, yeah, she's kinda acting funny, but you know, I mean, I don't know, I'm a male. I don't know what these things look like. So I was like, yeah, she, you know, just fill in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw Maggie and I knew right away that the something was not right. She was like stiff-legged. Yeah, she was arching her back. Like she was clearly in labor. So we decided, let's just, um, we decided we wanted to keep Betsy away from her for the birth just because we didn't want any extra variables. So Betsy's kind of a wild card. She's like a wild stallion of a horse, of a cow. <laughs> um, Betsy, I think you're confused. Why not milking? Here's the thing, Betsy, is you didn't calf. So you don't get to get milked. Fresh milk. Like what, grass? <laughs> Hi, Bets. Hi, Bets. She just, I don't think that I would want her around if I was giving birth. Yeah, she'd probably be like all up in the business. She'd be like <laughs> sniffing everything. She'd like ask us for grain or something. It would just be kind of a mess. No, but I'm saying if I were Maggie, Oh, if you were your own cow and... She's kind of like that annoying aunt that like <laughs> wants to like sit by your bedside and talk to you. You're like, I don't really want you here. <laughs> I just feel like Is that... the bull around? Can he come? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like if I was Maggie, I wouldn't want Betsy in my business. No, no. Anyways, we decided to separate Betsy from Maggie. If she was in labor, I feel like she needed... A woman needs a little space. She needed her birthing room. Did we get her like a roller ball? What else do you need during a birth? <laughs> Hi, Betsy. I'm gonna pet Betsy. You think we can get the tag off her ear? Yeah. What does that tag even say? It usually gives her a number. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, hello. Come on, Betsy. Come in here. Maggie knows. Come on. Maggie Come on. knows where she belongs. Because I'm a sucker, I'm gonna give you a treat. Mabel, give me that little. Where's that bit? 
something to feed a cow in. That'll work. That'll make it challenging for her, actually. Here you go, sweet cheeks. Have fun with that. <laughs> this is interesting. So we are now milking Maggie because Miss Maggie had a calf. You want a calf? <laughs> Let's go meet this calf. <laughs> Did you think well, she's gonna let us? This is gonna be challenging. <laughs> it's a leaf. Oh, Maggie's gonna be like, guys, I'm Maggie supposed to be says, milking. Um, guys. Um, guys. Anyways, we're setting this up and we have one cow going the wrong way and then the other cow's going the wrong way. Ben's trying to tell Maggie where to go and Maggie's like, mm, I want to stay here on this nice grass. Well, that nice grass was actually where we were trying to put Ma Betsy. Betsy, yeah. And it's dark, mind you. And we're trying to move two fences at once. So it was just very complicated. And two cows. And they yeah. don't want to be separated. They live no. together. So we eventually got Betsy where she needed to go, but Maggie didn't want to come. <laughs> So we kind of it took some while a while to coerce her to go where we wanted her to go And finally she realized that she did have a nice green area to lay in. Yeah, and so as we're finishing up the fences Maggie Maggie went up and she laid down on the ground. We're like, oh see there you go She found out where she needs to be and we're gonna fix these fences We're gonna tighten them up and make it nice and then I walk over to Maggie and I'm like, uh, Brianne There's two hooves and a face. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is, oh, now. So, so I guess she laid down. I always thought that she would do it standing up. But I was very happy when I saw that because that's the correct position from my research. And so I was like, okay, this is probably going to be easy. And then lo and behold, literally two seconds later, one push, calf out on the ground, breathing. <laughs> yeah. And mama did a good job and licked her up and... It trying to get up already. Hello, sweet girl. Oh, you don't have to get up yet. Uh, like a girl. You nurse right away. You want to see him nurse within 24 hours to get the colostrum. I couldn't have gone much smoother. I knew really she like, was an active labor man. Yeah. She yeah. didn't have like any time between looking in horrible pain. Uh, good girl, Maggie, girl. Just like a champ you are. Super champ. In no time she was standing and Yeah. And then we're as you know, first time cavers, we're like, do we need to check on her every two hours, three hours? <laughs> we didn't know what to do. So we did. It's we, funny, you can read all of the books and you can do all of the research and know some of it, but you still feel like you don't know what you're doing yeah. until you've done it. Yeah. So yeah, now she's a week old and she is doing great and we were kind of nervous that she wasn't nursing. Well, she was just nursing when we weren't looking. Yeah. You can't be watching 24 hours, so we're like, oh my gosh, is this calf nursing? What do we do? Give her colostrum. And then we would be across, yeah, so we freaked out about it for about 12 hours. Yeah. 12, 14 hours. And then we started this game where we'd walk away and we would spy on her from like behind the barn and she would nurse when yeah. we weren't looking. Yeah. She just didn't want us to be part of it. It's a very, it's a mother cow bond, you know, that you don't need to be part of. <laughs> But speaking about bonding, one really cool thing is that I think we got closer to Maggie through this. Like, I feel like she felt our support. I really do. I really think that she did. Because Maggie was not a cow that ever let us walk up to her and pet her. Yeah. She, she wasn't mean. She wasn't nasty. She just, we would walk up to her, she would walk away. She's like, yeah. nope, don't touch me. Yeah. I don't need to be touched. <laughs> um, as opposed to Betsy, who chases you down to get pet. <laughs> Just a little scary, and we're yeah. trying to train that out of her. But she wants attention, and she wants your attention, and she wants you to touch her and pet her and love her. Yeah. She was clearly pet. Yes. Whereas Maggie, I don't think she was. I yeah. think they were very hands-off, the past owners. But she's a great cow. She's a great <laughs> cow. Um, but she just was didn't care for us to be touching her. Yeah. Now I can walk up to her and pet her and love her. Yeah. I mean, she even licked me. She I'm not me. sure she enjoys it. <laughs> but she tolerates it now. She tolerates it, and she'll come up to me. Yeah. 
um, I can feed her an apple out of my hand. Right. Out of uh, my hand. Yeah. That was not her. No. She would not allow that. Yeah. Um, and so it's cool. So it's calving has increased. Her I will knowledge. walk up and uh -huh. she will walk up to me. That's awesome. And how do you get this on her? Her head, her nose. Yeah, so you put her nose in here like this, right? Her nose goes right through here, and this goes up and over her ears. So you can pull it loose like that. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck catching her. Now you can. Cap has joined us. Okay. Good thing this was in Mabel. Do you guys want to try to introduce her to us? So? <laughs> <laughs> this is Daisy Cheyenne Holt. She is our new calf. She is Maggie's baby and she is red fur. Isn't she pretty? And she really hates to be led. <laughs> I think once she learns to like grass, she'll enjoy being led because we'll take her out and give her grass. Come on, bro. It's really <laughs> fun leading this calf. Yeah, Daisy's a bit wild, isn't she? That's why her middle name's Cheyenne. Oh, actually, do you want to tell them why her middle name is Cheyenne? Cheyenne's a crazy name. Her dad's name is Wyoming, and Cheyenne is the capital of Wyoming. So we were going to name her Cheyenne, but it just didn't fit quite as well. Come on, Daisy. She's cute, but she's a bit stubborn. Come here. And she doesn't want to lead, but we expected that. But she's been kind of funny Does because... Does it hurt her? Well, if it gets too tight, I don't want it to get tight, but she pulls so hard. Come on, go. <laughs> okay, Bia, hold on tight. She knows that when, whenever I let go of the get let go of the rope, she's gonna go crazy because she knows that Bia's holding it. <laughs> She'll get used to it. We are going to train her on a halter so that we can lead her when she's our milk cow because this little girl is gonna be our milk cow someday. Come on. Daisy. <laughs> Daisy Cheyenne. Come on, girl. Yeah, everything went good and now we have sweet little Daisy. Yep. Who is funny and belligerent and... Anything you would think a calf is, <laughs> pretty much. I don't think I knew what to know about a calf, to think about a calf. Full of energy, running around, getting She's stuck in electric around. fences. <laughs> Good thing we hadn't turned it on at that point. Yeah. We learned we have to turn the electric fences on because she's going to mess with them otherwise. Yeah. And so now she's learning that. She doesn't mess with them anymore. No. Nope. So she must have got shocked really hard to want your little baby calf to get shocked but once she got a little tiny buzz she stays far away from it so yeah. she's not tangled and on the ground right which is probably worse that's probably worse hi baby hi daisy girl So is this a regular life now with three cows scooping all day long or what? <laughs> it has been very busy. I'm ready to get them back out on pasture. Yeah. Is that a realistic thing? Well, not really, huh? Because the we grass is dying grass, back. Yeah. So maybe they'll be in for a while. This might be their semi-permanent home for just a little bit. It's very nice to move animals. It's challenging to move animals. It takes but a lot, a lot of time. <laughs> But if you have grass, it's so much better. Are you gonna guard these cows? Yeah, you're gonna take good care of them. 